Chicago Bears right now, Mr. Tory Anderson. Justin Fields is starting this Sunday for his first career start. However, Matt Nagy says Andy Dalton is a starter when healthy. Are you buying anything that's coming out of that two-faced little boy over there? Watch my words. <laughs> yes, because it's Matt Nagy. <laughs> and two, a light shines on the dog's ass every once in a while. So he is right every once in a while. And there again, when Andy does come back, he should be the starter. He's the perfect quarterback for him to learn behind. He's learned how to go through his progressions. He learns his reads. He learns how to not throw interceptions. He learns how to, you know, not get your head knocked off as well, too. Like, you know, to quote the replacements, you need to run around. <laughs> yeah, you try running. <laughs> uh, so, so with that being said, you know, you can say what you want. I mean, the head coach would say what he wants, but at the end of the day, performance on the field doesn't lie. Let's say, for example, Justin Fields goes out there and throws 275, two touchdowns, and the Bears thump the Browns this week in Cleveland, I might add. Let's just say that happens. Does Andy Dalton's injury last another week? No. No, so you're saying no matter what, what Andy Dalton's back next week as a starter. I, if, if he's healthy, I think they do. I think I give him credit. He's not a great head coach, but he's playing it smart. So the I feel like the reason why Matt Nagy is so adamant of sitting Justin Fields is because he was the quarterback coach or some type of offense assistant in Kansas City when Alex Smith and Patrick Mahomes was there. And he saw the success that Patrick Mahomes is now having. Do you think legitimately that Justin Fields can have that kind of success that Patrick Mahomes seen his first three years as a starter in the in the NFL? Absolutely, I do. I really, really do. I think Justin Fields, if he goes through this and it all goes right for him, he is going to be a superstar in this league, which pains me to say as a Packer fan about any bear, but he's a good quarterback. Um, you know, the big thing for him is getting up to that game speed. Yeah. You know, he, he, even though he said this game's kind of slow, well, it's kind of easy to say that when they're all playing at 25% speed exactly. and it's like, eh, it's preseason. I'm just trying not to get hurt. You know, it's a, it's a whole different ball game. Now, as we saw last week, when you go six to 13 and with an interception and now they are, the defenses are flying around and mixing up their looks on you instead right. of showing you a straight vanilla defense. But um, I think, yeah, absolutely. James feel or James, Justin Fields, will be a maybe not quite Patrick Mahomes, but he could be maybe like a like a, a lot like a Justin Herbert. Yeah, uh, I mean, I too, I I totally agree of what you're saying, and to an extent, I see that some comments here in the uh, like Wayne G for for example, he says benching rookies is not a successful form form formula for 100 percent of the quarterbacks. Max should start right away. Fields shouldn't. Which, 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 which that's exactly what we're saying is sit Justin Fields for a year. But on the flip side of that coin, guys, Matt Nagy is fighting for his job. If Matt Nagy goes three and 15, or is it 15? Three, no, and, three and four. Three and 14. The, the, uh, the odd and new num number, even numbers are kind of messing me up right now, uh, still to this day. So if they go three and 14, Matt Nagy is gone. Hell, if. If they're three and nine going into week fourteen, I think he's fired then. So, you, you why would you why would you why would you fire a coach that late in the season at that point? Just you're to not, prove a point, I and build a culture for the next well, year. I don't know. Yeah, but any coach you're going to bring on, chances are, is going to be played in the playoffs because you're probably going to be looking at somebody that's in the playoffs, right? So that's why I don't get like those late season firings. Like, oh, they're getting a head start on the coaching. How the hell are you getting a head coach? Like, are you looking at college coaches? Maybe if that's the case, yeah, I could see that. Then, if you're looking at a college coach, right. but is that college coach going to come in and fill, finish out the season? No. Yes. So Wayne G says, in, in, in Chicago, neither neither core core quarterback is better right now. Matt Nagy's faith is sealed already. Tori, do you think that Matt Nagy is gone at the end of the season no matter how well he does? He can win a Super Bowl. He's still gone? No. A Super Bowl is an automatic another three to four years as, as a coach. I mean, you know, look at look at Doug Peterson. Right. So, 
he didn't he didn't do anything really after the year after they won the Super Bowl. They were they were average to terrible. <laughs> like every year just kept progressing worse and worse and worse where you know they're like, "Oh, we hit our window. 